It is undeniable that the golden age of the baddest man of the 80s and his heyday was glorious. Junior Olympic Boxing Championships, 15-year-old Mike Tyson. 1986 was a decisive year for the John Mike Tyson. The talented young man confidently overcame all the barriers that came his way. I don't mind one night fights among which were against such strong guys as Jesse Ferguson, Jane Stillis, Mitch Green, and Jose Rivalta. However, the fight with the Jamaican Trevor Berbick was just around the corner. But the 20-year-old Pima decided not to rest on his laurels and in September 1986, Mike Russell gloves with former cruiserweight world champion Alfonso Rathley. Mike Tyson won the world heavyweight title twice in the 1980s and is the youngest boxer in history to win a world heavyweight title when, on September 22, 1986, he won the WBC title over Trevor Berbick at the age of 20. He will later go on to unify all the crowns against champions Jens Smith in the WBA and Tony Tucker in the IBA. Meanwhile, Alfonso Rathley will start in the sport of boxing in search of some economic livelihood. Although things did not start well, Rathley found in boxing his true passion and managed to stand out among the best in history as an amateur. Rathley won the Chicago Golden Globes title in 1980s and won a fight against Mitch Green in an intercity competition. That same year, on August 25, Saturday, Alfonso Rathley made his first appearance on on a professional boxing stage. Radcliffe made his professional debut at the age of 20 in the 1980s and by that year had built up an excellent amateur reputation. For his debut, he faced a relatively unknown opponent, Jim Flynn, one he defeated by a first round knockout in 2 minutes and 11 seconds. His career was progressing and he was getting matches with renowned and high level boxers. When he stepped out of the ring after his first professional fight in front of a very crowd in Chicago, Illinois, United States, Radcliffe has demonstrated his talent, skill, and endurance, and after one year as a professional, he had already accumulated 13 victories, 10 of them by knockout. But then came his first big challenge. It will be on May 12, 1981. He faced the boxer Tim Witherspoon, who came with a streak very similar to that of Alfonso Ratley, with 12 consecutive victories and 11 of them by knockout. But this fight will mark for Alfonso his third defeat, and it will be in the seventh round that Tim Witherspoon will lock him between the ropes, causing the referee to stop the fight, declaring technical knockout. After his defeat, Alfonso Rathley focused on seeking and obtaining the opportunity to reach the top of the boxing war. After this defeat, Alfonso achieved six more victories and only one defeat, and it will be on June 6, 1985, at the Riviera Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas, Nevada, United States, where he will fight for the WBC Junior Heavyweight title against the Puerto Rican Carlos de Leon. This will get a victory after 12 grueling rounds, but this WBC heavy ray title will not last long because only two months later, Alfonso will have a meeting with Bernard Benton to dispute the title and it will be on September 21st, 1985, in Las Vegas, Nevada, where the fight will take place. Bernard Benton will win after 12 rounds by unanimous decisions against Alfonso Radcliffe, who will lose the WBC and lineal heavyweight titles. On September 6, 1986, the epic fight between two titans of the ring, Mike Tyson and Alfonso Radcliffe, will take place. This fight was one of the most anticipated of the decade. The stage was set in Las Vegas Hilton Winchester, USA, for a night full of action on excitement, but fighters came with impressive records. What made this fight a truly interesting encounter 
was that on one side we had Mike Tyson, a young and bitter fighter of just 20 years old, who boosted an undefeated record of 27 wins, all by knockout. On the other side, Alfonso Radley, an experienced boxer of 33 years old, with a record of 17 wins, 3 losses and a draw. From the beginning, Tyson showed his impressive power and speed, looking to intimidate his opponent by knocking him down. But roughly, showed courage and resilience by getting up quickly despite the fierce blows of the young Tyson. It was evident the superiority of Mike Tyson, who kept throwing a series of powerful punches. Jack looks roughly to the ropes for multiple moments. And through Alfonso, valiantly defended himself, he could not avoid Tyson's accurate punches. And at a critical moment in the fight, a fearsome left hook thrown by Tyson successfully connected with Rathley's chin, leaving him reeling and the crowd erected in applause and shots of amazement at such veracity. As the fight progressed, Tyson's momentum and confidence grew. Focused and energetic, he threw punches for every possible angle, stalking Radcliffe at every opportunity. However, Radcliffe countered with a combination of quick and accurate punches that left Tyson stunned. This brief exchange of punches ignited the crowd and broke the excitement to the limit. By the second round, despite Radcliffe's resistance, Tyson dominated the ring. His incredible ability to dodge Radcliffe's punches and land devastating counter punches was something to be admired. Tyson hit Radcliffe's jaw with a crushing blow, knocking him to the canvas. But Alfonso got up just as the referee was on the count of number 9, but it was evident that he was tired and that Tyson was in control of the fight. Despite his resistance and effort to get up and continue the fight, Ralph Leaf was again knocked down by Tyson. The referee, seeing that Ralph Leaf was in a deplorable state, decided to end the fight and declare Mike Tyson the winner by technical knockout. The fight between Mike Tyson and Alfonso Ralph Leaf was an unforgettable event. A battle of two warriors who left their mark in the history of heavyweight boxing. Tyson once again demonstrated his strength and skill, while Radcliffe showed his courage and determination resisting the onslaught of the young and powerful boxer. If you liked the video, don't forget to comment and like it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. It's over.